Hi, my name is Eugenie. In this video tutorial, I'll tell you in detail how to use my After Effects project, Handy Seamless Transitions. This transitions pack has become very popular at VideoHive.net, probably because they're very simple to use. Just place a transition layer at the junction of two scenes, and everything is ready. All transitions works without pre-composes or media holders. It's transformed any content placed under the transition layer. Thus, you can create convenient, modular video projects very quickly and without much effort. So, let's begin. Installation of Extension If you use Windows, in order to install the extension, just copy folder HST script into folder Support Files, which is in the directory of your After Effects. If you're the user of Mac, so copy the folder HST script in directory Library, Application Support, Adobe, CEP, Extensions. Note that in case there are no folders, CEP, Extensions, you should create them yourselves. After installation, run After Effects. In the menu bar, do the following, Windows, Extensions, Handy Seamless Transitions. Extension bar will open. When you use it for the first time, you have to enter purchase code. In order to get this code, click the button Get Purchase Code. The page of download of the purchase projects will open. Click Download and choose text or PDF file. You'll find purchase codes in these files. Enter the code in the pop-up extension window and click Check. If the code doesn't work, make sure that in After Effects settings has permission for scripts to write files or access to network. If in this case the code still doesn't work, try to switch off firewall or antivirus program while the code is being checked. How to use In order to choose transition, open the list of the category and mouse over one of a number of transitions in the list. Transition preview will start playing in preview screen. Choose the appropriate transition and click Add Replace, or double-click the mouse on the chosen transition. The transition will import into Active Composition. Next, I'll show you the principle of adding transitions. If there aren't any highlighted layers, the transition will be added in Current Time Indicator. If there is some layer is highlighted in Active Composition, so the transition will be added in Joint above the highlighted layer. If the added transition is selected in Active Composition, so the button Add Replace or Double Click will work in the mode Replace, and Transition in Active Composition will be replaced by that one selected in Extension List. If a lot of layers are selected in Active Composition, the transition will be added to each one. In this case, you can use different transitions at the same time. To do this, select Transitions with the pressed Control key. Besides, you can choose the order of adding transitions. Random is the mode by default. If you select Forward, transitions will be added in top-down order. If you choose Backwards, vice versa, down to up. Below, I'll show you how to use available tools for the work with transitions. Target Control is the option that enables you to convert anchor point of a transition into zoom target point. It works for all transitions of zoom type. They're marked with cross-line icons. Select any zoom transition in Active Composition and click the button Target Control. Transition layer will change into orange color. Then, using Anchor Point tool, you can change zoom target point. Besides, you can animate the point, thus achieving interesting effects. Time Stretch. This is a useful tool that enables quickly to change the transition time length. Select the transition in Active Composition and click the button Time Stretch. Additional bar will open, where you can set rate of transition in percentage terms. For example, set 75% and click Apply. It's ready. For performing fine work over transition time, you can add keys of time remapping. Changing value of these keys in Curve Editor, you can change animation softness to increase and decrease rate. Pay attention on the key marked Cut. This is the key that fixes transition peak. You can change its curves, but don't change time value of this key. The button Remove, click it to remove all unused transitions. It will downscale your After Effects file and thus will optimize the project. That's all. If you still have questions concerning this product, write me on my profile page at videohive.net. 
The link is in the description to the video.